One. Today we're gonna talk about hierarchical design. The reason is this is one of my most favorite way, the most coolest way to draw a schematic. And the reason behind I'm defining it as the coolest way is because it saves you a lot of time to review other people's design and to, to know how your signals are traveling, to know how your designs are going. And not only that, if you really want to follow a, a big design and if you just if you just like a block diagram or you're a big fan of block diagram this is this is the video for you because we're gonna talk about hierarchical design how to do it and including some bosses and some other thing so think about it, you have a lot of design going on in this game addict sheet okay a lot of design going on so many I see so many stuff and and you're just like doing a lot of net levels from here and reference referencing to like 10 different schematic that's to get very annoying but we're not we're not gonna do that we're gonna do something cool so i have a three schematic here very simple looking schematic and i want to make a blog diagram out of it and i want to i want to show the signals in such a way this is very very easy to keep track of so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a first a sheet and I'm gonna say this as a my top design okay I'm gonna say a top design uh, maybe tutorial something now I have I have four sheet and they have been they're kind of like leveling is one two three four but now in hierarchical design this is going to be your top so what I'm gonna do in this one I'm gonna just go to my design and when I go down to here create sheet symbol from sheet I'll click on it first I want to put my SMA because this is how I'm get, taking my single in I'm clicking on here after you you pass it there you might do some adjustment like oh my gosh here you go like adjustment and then you might want to take it down a little bit look at you know, make it look like a little nicer just to impress your partner maybe I'm just kidding so <laughs> so the reason you see with the port P here if I go to this you see I define a port and the port is named as a port P and that's what you're gonna do in every schematic design whenever you want to have a hierarchical design same thing happened to my filter as well I had an in I had an out I have a lot of FLT here. The reason I did it, it just helps me in the layout. But I think we'll, we'll just talk about it later. Not today. Then if I go to my relay, I have the same. My RF1 is leveled as a port 1 RF1, RF2, and then same thing is my RFC. And you can also make some ports here and be to like some input power or any kind of conditions. That's up to you. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to define it as a positive 5 as a power. I'm just applying five power, five bolts of power there. <clears throat> okay, so after I do the SMA thing, you probably already noticed that this SMA is now under the main sheet, so it's now a sub sheet. So if I go to the top design, if I finish my other, 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 um, what they call other sheets, if, now if I go there, if I do my probably the relay, I guess maybe, yeah, let's do the relay, maybe. Let's do a relay of well. Let's put it here. Let's put like a a, a differential to a common maybe. Maybe you can just do like that. I mean, I'm just kind of like <clears throat> trying to come up with a schematic or something for fun. For fun. I'm just gonna kind of like a, doing something fun here. Okay, just randomly. There is no any defined, no any defined circuitry. It is for all fun, for all good. We're just trying to have fun with this. And now, let's go to the design. Maybe you can put a filter. Maybe we can put a filter here. Maybe we can put a filter down there. And you can take this out to the right side. And in here, you can take the out to the right side. And maybe, just to look nice, as I speak, just to look nice, just to go, you can just reduce the size. Make it look like a more gentle right maybe look like a more more gentle and nice oh my gosh my mouse is not that gentle and nice it has some problem guys i'm so sorry here you go <laughs> okay okay that sounds that sounds not too tough right 
everything is going pretty good. I want to just have some space. I want to have some space. I also want to have a one last SMA. Just in my signal or something. I can just put a ground or whatever. Oh, uh, one last SMA here, right? So I have the four blocks. And you can also do some fun with that. Like if you want to you wanna change the color of your block, maybe red. Crazy looking red. Like a fully red, bloody red. You can maybe change your port to like maybe black. Oh my gosh, not that one. That's a weird color, right? <laughs> okay, I was just having some fun here with it. You can make some other adjustment based on your preferences. You can be as weird as possible. I'm just kidding. You don't want to be too weird and, and look like a really nasty. So now, the final part. You are going to make some connection, okay? Generally, you can just use your wire here, RFC to in, just a little wire. And you can do the same thing from your out to your port P. Wire. Wire, wire, wire. Oh my god, look at that. This guy didn't like that, so take it out. Hoop, hoop, fix the problem. Fix the problem. But now, I want to do something fun here. I want to do a bus, okay? Because I like bus. I like to travel by bus because it's cheap. It helps you to save a lot of money. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some little wire here. Maybe just a little bit. A little wire. I'm gonna go to my bus entry. I'm gonna say, hey, this is a bus, some guys, not the Harry Potter one, but it's something different, bus, right? <clears throat> I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna go here. Have one, take a little wire. The reason I do it because I just like it. And it's probably also very safe for you to know your signal, right? <clears throat> now let's do like this, maybe. Like this. Cool. Now we can go back to your bus again. Click on it, make the bus connection like this. Oh, oh, sorry, other one. Here you go. <coughs> sorry, excuse me, excuse me. So now you probably see this has been linked with the bus. This has been linked with the single wire. And now, just to have some fun, just to have some fun, you can do some net labeling. The reason I do it, there's a reason. The reason I do it is because it helps me to know where my layouts are. So I'm going to do is just go here, click on the net, maybe here. Then oh, I just keep doing the same problem. I'm, I am trying to name it. So I'm going to click on the tab. I'm going to say is SMA1, right? I'm going to say is a SMA1. I'm going to put it here, SMA2 here. Maybe the same is going to be here. Maybe SMA3 is down there. <coughs> and then I'm going to say SMA. Maybe just a filter. Okay, FL. Maybe FL. FLTR filter or something. Maybe. Okay. FLTR here. And I, the reason I do it for a reason. I think I think one is enough, but I do it two. I don't know why. I'm just weird. Maybe I'm, I'm newbie. This reason. And for RF1 and RF2, I'm going to say RF1. Guys, just don't really, don't really care about how look, how nice it looks. I'm not really caring about it. I just want to make some connections. And the reason I'm doing this thing, so in a hierarchical design, if you have something like that, you might be, whenever you're doing your layout, you might enjoy making the connections. I'm telling you this. It's very, very, very true. So now, the reason I'm telling you all of the stuff is because if I save the design, I'm done with this, right? I, I, if you're like, if you're like some good designer, if you like to design some boards, if you're a big fan of designing boards, what are you gonna do? Probably like you make a rectangular, I guess. Say, hey, that's my design, boss. Take that design and go to home, right? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna make some dot. Then you can just like write some name here, saying, hey, guess what? This is a design. I don't have any circuit names. So you can just say a circuit. No makes sense. Maybe no make sense sense block diagram okay no make sense block diagram so this is this is your design oh gosh here you go okay, this is your design no make sense block diagram now I want to show you very quickly why I did the leveling thing so if I go and if I create a PCB they create a PCB Okay, not defining any single name. 
also in the next video i probably will talk about how to make the rooms okay a room a design of rooms is very cool maybe in the next video we'll, we'll probably talk about it but not today not today not today i'm going to do update pcbs there's some error showing you can just go and and um maybe this is a filtering error is showing about maybe i should get rid of one of them but it's still if you give you some error you can just go and fix it later but i don't think i'm gonna spend a lot of time thinking of yeah the same filtering problem i guess yeah i don't want to spend so much time to fix any problem because i'm gonna just talk about it later you can still generate your okay there's some there's some connection issue because i've been doing a lot faster maybe there's some connection issue instead of the schematic i just created it out whatever it is but if i go if i do some validation and if i go to execute the changes and now now it's here right now i'm always here oh my gosh two of them in the sky They're saying i don't like you boy oh my god look at that here you go come out don't be there i don't want you to be far away from me i'm looks i'm not a scary looking person just come down more please oh my lord here you go so the reason I did that, of course there is a reason. If you go here, see RF2, RF1, 5 bolt, 5 bolt. Then if you go here, I don't know if you can see it. Like this one say FLTR here, FLTR. It just gave me some design error. If I just go to the design and then some uh, design rules. If I go and just change all of them to like a, a 6 maybe. Maybe 6 is fine, right? six is probably fine if it is to six or something and if i do apply you probably will get rid of the it should probably get rid of the thing i don't know why it didn't but it definitely should get rid of the the constant issue that this is showing me here it should 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 get rid of it okay whatever we don't care about it i'm gonna look into it later but just give me some designer but look at this one you're saying fltr right filter and there you go fltr FLT here and and this is this is why SMA3 you see SMA3 and the same thing RF1 RF2 I mean the way I wanted in my schematic like the way I wanted in my schematic SMA1 SMA2 F um, RF1 RF2 exactly the same is giving me ignore all of the errors that we are having when we are generating the project because these are some annoying things that you always have to go through but but I have only four errors that I have to probably look into later. But this is the problem. Sorry, this is the blog diagram. Thanks for watching, I guess. And happy designing. Make sure you get rid of the errors. Make sure there is no errors. And always, always remember to level your design here so that you at least know that you have to, you have to be very careful, okay? At least you know that you have to be very, very thoughtful when you're making your design. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.